Why could a large asteroid impact occur? The impact of a large asteroid against Earth is an event that could happen due to the presence of near-Earth objects, NEOs, in space. These objects include asteroids and comets, which, due to the gravitational influence of planets or collisions with other objects, can deviate from their usual orbits and head towards Earth. Disaster level. The disaster level of an asteroid impact depends on the size of the asteroid and the location of impact. A large asteroid, several kilometers in diameter, could cause catastrophic damage on a global scale, including massive tsunamis if it impacts in the ocean, global wildfires, drastic climate changes, and species extinction due to the lifting of dust and debris that would block sunlight. What to do for survival? Early detection. The key to avoiding disaster is the early detection of dangerous NEOs. Projects like PANSTARS, LSST, and specific NASA programs are designed to identify potentially dangerous objects well in advance. Asteroid deflection. There are proposals to deflect asteroids on a collision course, including the use of a spacecraft's gravity, gravity tractor, kinetic impactors, hitting the asteroid with one or more spacecraft to change its trajectory, or even nuclear explosions near the asteroid to alter its course. Preparation for impact. In case deflection is not possible, preparation for impact would involve massive evacuations from the predicted impact areas, stocking up on food and resources, and building shelters. Research and international collaboration. Ongoing research on planetary defense and international collaboration are essential for developing effective strategies against asteroid threats. Although the risk of a catastrophic asteroid impact in the near future is low, preparation and the ability to respond to such a threat are essential for global security. Why could a nearby supernova explosion occur? A supernova occurs at the end of a massive star's life when it exhausts its nuclear fuel and its core collapses under its own gravity. This collapse can cause a massive explosion that releases an immense amount of energy. If a sufficiently large and close star exploded as a supernova, it could have significant effects on our planet. Disaster level. The disaster level of a nearby supernova would depend on its distance from Earth. While it's unlikely that a supernova explosion would cause direct physical damage to the Earth's surface, it could significantly affect the Earth's atmosphere. What to do for survival? Radiation protection. In the short term, minimizing exposure to increased UV radiation by protecting the skin and eyes would be vital. Research and technology. In the long term, it would be crucial to invest in research and development of technologies that could strengthen or restore the ozone layer, as well as in early warning systems to detect impending supernovae and their associated radiation. Autonomous life support systems. Developing and maintaining autonomous life support systems that can provide food and water without direct dependence on sunlight could be crucial if the effects on the atmosphere are prolonged. International collaboration. International collaboration and coordination would be essential to develop mitigation strategies and global response plans in the face of these types of cosmic threats. Since near supernova events are beyond human control and are extremely rare, the most practical approach is constant monitoring of space to identify potential threats and research into technologies that could mitigate possible negative effects on Earth. Why could a global pandemic of a deadly virus occur? A global pandemic of a deadly virus could occur for several reasons, including the mutation of an existing virus that allows it to infect humans and transmit more effectively, human contact with infected animals, zoonosis, or rapid globalization that facilitates the transmission of diseases across international borders. Disaster level. The disaster level of a global pandemic can vary widely depending on the lethality of the virus, its transmission speed, and the effectiveness of public health responses. What must be done to save ourselves? Infection prevention and control. This includes frequent hand washing, wearing masks in public, and social distancing practices to reduce transmission. Vaccination. Developing and rapidly distributing effective vaccines is crucial to control the spread of the virus and protect the population. Quarantines and isolation. Identifying and isolating infected individuals, as well as those who have been in contact with them, to prevent the spread of the virus. Healthcare system preparedness and response. Ensuring that hospitals and healthcare systems are equipped with the necessary resources, hospital beds, ventilators, qualified medical staff to treat affected patients. Scientific research. 
investing in research to better understand the virus, including its transmission mechanisms and effective treatment. International cooperation, collaboration between countries and international organizations is vital for sharing information, resources, and containment strategies. Public education, informing the public about prevention measures, disease symptoms, and when to seek medical care. Preparation and rapid response are essential to minimize the impact of a pandemic. International cooperation, scientific research, and effective public health policies are key to preventing future epidemics or controlling them quickly when they occur. Why would a hostile alien invasion occur? A hostile alien invasion is a popular theme in science fiction and has no basis in current scientific evidence. However, in the context of fiction, it could be theorized to occur for various reasons, such as extraterrestrials' interest in Earth's natural resources, a desire for conquest or colonization, or even for unknown reasons that respond to the motivations of an advanced alien civilization. Disaster level. The disaster level of a hostile alien invasion would potentially be catastrophic and unprecedented given the hypothesis that extraterrestrials possess technology far more advanced than humanity. What to do for survival? Global unity. International cooperation would be essential. Humanity would need to come together setting aside geopolitical differences to face the common threat. Military and technological defense, developing or adapting technologies to defend against the invaders would be crucial. Evacuation and shelters. In the event of destructive attacks, it would be necessary to evacuate at-risk areas and establish safe shelters for the civilian population. Communicating with the invaders, Attempting to communicate with extraterrestrials to negotiate peace or understand their motivations could be a strategy, although its success would entirely depend on the invaders' intentions. Preservation of knowledge and culture. Safeguarding human knowledge and culture in safe places or even off the planet could be a measure to preserve civilization in case Earth is completely overtaken. Research and exploitation of alien technology. If possible, studying any alien technology that falls into human hands to seek advantages or weaknesses in the invader's technology. Since we are talking about a science fiction scenario, the specific strategies for saving oneself largely depend on the imagination and the fictional circumstances proposed by the creators of these stories. In reality, space exploration and the attempt to communicate with potential extraterrestrial civilizations are carried out with caution and under ethical principles that seek understanding and peace.